Hello all, my name is Nayad Wong. I teach ancient history and world history at Leeward Community College. And today my activity is putting an ancient Egyptian spell over your name. Now all you need is two things. First, you need to Google blank cartouche. And second, you need to Google hieroglyphic alphabet. This is a cartouche. Now what is a cartouche? It is the magic spell that you put over your name. In ancient times, this represented magic rope created from the rays of the sun. And the Egyptians believed that the sun protected everything. And so you are going to choose the type of cartouche you like. You'll see many types on the internet, and then you will print it out. And second, of course, what you need is the hieroglyphic alphabet. And you're gonna print that out as well. So here we have the hieroglyphic alphabet. And these are the different animals and different types of drawings that represent your name. All you're going to do is choose the letters of your name and you will copy the animals or the drawings and put them into your cartouche. I've done one for you right here. So this is my name, N-A-I-A-D. And that is all you need to do to put a magic spell over your name. And now we can talk a little bit about how this works. So in ancient Egypt, of course, the kings like to make themselves into mummies because they believe this would protect themselves in the afterlife. And they also put their magic cartouche names everywhere they could, inside of pyramids and over temples. And the more their names were carved, the safer they believed their soul would be in the afterlife. The sun protected all of this and the king and all of the gods who also protected the body and the name. And I'm gonna show you a few more things. So once a king was made into a mummy and he had his magic name put everywhere, his body also had all of its organs protected. And the organs were put in jars. These are canopic jars. And each of these protected one organ of the king. One of them had the lungs, one of them had the liver, one of them had the stomach, and the other one had the intestines. And all of this would be put into pyramids. And when the king was buried, he'd be very safe and happy in the afterlife. And his soul would be happy as well while the sun watched over everything. You can also, of course, put your magic names on any piece of paper, use an index card. And of course, you can give these out to family and friends and you can give them good luck and make them happy in the afterlife and do this for your own name as well. And that is all you need to do to create a magic Egyptian spell. Thank you for watching this video. Please check out our other videos. See you from ancient Egypt.